Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to our brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a game pass prompt when a part is touched. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are enabled. If Explorer and Properties are not enabled, you want to head up to the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explorer, and they should pop up somewhere over your screen. You then want to click back on Home, and then you want to go insert your part, which the player is going to be touching. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how to actually make a game pass be prompted when a player touches this part using their humanoid. Basically, this part looks out for a humanoid, which is inside of your Roblox character. So every single Roblox character has a humanoid. So this part detects, is there going to be a humanoid? If there is a humanoid detected, then a game pass will be prompted. So you want to go and customize your part. For this tutorial, I'm just anchoring my part and we're going to go and change the color just to a simple, maybe look kind of like a blue, just like that. It doesn't really matter what your part is. It could be invisible but by just changing the transparency. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be keeping it as one. But go customize your part. Once you've customized your part, you want to go and click on the plus button next to your part and then you want to insert a script. So now that you've inserted the script inside of your part, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description and bring it back to Roblox Studio, Control V or right click paste and paste in the new code. Now that you've inserted the code inside of your script, you want to go and adjust a couple things. So on line one where it says local game pass ID, you want to go and change this ID to your game pass ID. So if you don't already have a game pass ID, what you want to do is you want to head over to your main Roblox page, then you want to click on the three dots and then you want to click configure this experience. This will take us over to the create.roblox.com, basically where we can change things in our game. Now that we've loaded onto this page, we want to go over to associated items, click on associated items, and as you guys can see, I've got a badge here, which is under our badges, but we want to go to our passes to create a game pass. As you guys can see, I've also already got a game pass, but let's say we didn't have a game pass. We want to go and click on create a pass. You want to insert your image. It is not necessary if you don't already have an image. Roblox Studio will automatically give you an image if you don't already have one. Then you want to go and set a name. This is required. So we're going to go and name this game pass. Let's call it game pass two. Just like that, you can add a bit of a description and you can also change the image. Once you've done all that, click on create pass. So now that you've created your game pass, you'll be able to see that it is off sale. So this is the game pass that we just created and we want to make it for sale because currently it is off sale. So we want to click on it and then we want to go over to sales and then we want to click enable the item for sale. And then for this tutorial, I'm just going to be setting the price of, price of the game pass to one. Then I'm going to go and click save changes. So now that you've made your game pass for sale, you want to head back to associated items. Then we want to go to our game pass, which is here by associated items, if I click on passes. So now that you're back at your passes page, we want to go over to our game pass that we just created, click on the three dots and click copy asset ID. Then we want to take that back to Roblox Studio. So now that we're back inside Roblox Studio, we want to go and remove all the previous ID here in line one, and we want to replace this with our game pass ID, which we just made. So now that you've inserted your game pass ID, we want to go up here, click on the X button next to the script so that the script saves. And then we want to go check it out here by clicking on play. As you guys can see, we are now in the base plate. And if we go run over our part, it will tell us that we already own the game pass. The reason why we already own the game pass is because we are the creators of the game pass. So on default, whenever you create a game pass, you'll be automatically given the game pass. Now, let's say I was a standard other player that didn't already have the game pass, you would be prompted the game pass. If you would like to, you can also go and delete the game pass from your inventory to make sure that it actually does work. But what you want to do to go delete your game pass, you want to go up here, click on the three dots and click delete from my inventory. As you guys can see, we are now back in the base plate. And as you guys remember, we just went and deleted my game pass from my inventory. So now if we go and run over this part, we'll be prompted to purchase the game pass. As you guys can see, we have now ran over the part and we have been prompted to purchase this game pass. If you guys are a little bit lost, you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket in my Discord server and we will happily help you out. If you would like to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, so you're notified every single time we upload a new video. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you guys did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see everyone in the next video.